Welcome back, anglers. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Call of the Wild the Angler, where I've got the hook size chart for all the species of a Golden Ridge pulled up on the monitor I'm looking at to talk with you guys. So we should hopefully have no more issues with the uh, long drought to try and catch anything. So last weekend, trying for the kokanee salmon, it didn't really go that well. The reason being is, actually, I think if I check my rod set up here... Yeah, I was using too large of a hook size. If I use a hook size of 4, then the only size I could catch for the kokanee salmon would be their diamond sizing. So I actually have to go to a hook size of 5 to try having better luck for them. So we're going to start with that today. I know there's a second mission that we do have. I think it's across the river further up we'll go to. But yeah, for the rest of the Call of the Wild the Angler series, I'm going to pro basically just keep the hook size chart up there. I think it's too useful... It is really too useful to not have, and because how the game can be pretty much like a drought for trying to catch species once you get into the higher hook sizes, I feel like it's a necessity to have. I still do hope eventually, even if they don't have the full breakdown in the game's handbook for like the species of like what ranking you catch with what hook size, just making it so that way uh, you have like from the largest to smallest hook size. Ooh, gotta be careful because I want to bring this in. You're getting a bit of a good fight with it. Just having a breakdown so that way you have some idea of the hook sizing. I think will help a lot for the game. And like progression and instead of having the player having to go out and find a bunch of outside resources. The more you can keep all information self-contained inside the game. I think helps bring it out further. But yeah, we want to use hook size of 5 here. I'm just going to check with the handbook once again for what the kokanee like. Uh, spinner, spoon, and crankbait. Now, I don't actually know if I have a... I do have a hook size 5 for spinner. Let's see, you know what? Was it... Actually, now I need to check. Is it spinner or spinner bait? I think it was just a regular spinner. Yeah, it was just regular spinner. So we'll try with this for a while. Hopefully we'll get our gold kokanee in a little bit here and they'll be interested. And then we'll see what the other species we'll tackle today are too. It might be the case because I do have a hook size chart right here. It might go a little faster speeding through the mission objectives. And we'll be able to get a bit more done this weekend than we have in the past. Which I'm not opposed to. Because let's be honest. A lot of the episodes have been a bit slower with not too much happening. Because we haven't had the right kind of equipment for uh, what we're after. But yeah, that looks like a kokanee right there. So this is probably our gold sizing for the objective here. There we go. Gold rank kokanee. I mean, I would like to try to catch dime of these guys, because the kokanee just are a really stunning fish to look at. Again, it'd be one of those ones nice to see on a wall or something as like a trophy, but... Hard to say if we'll ever get anything like that in the angler. Or if they do include it, it might be a bunch of DLC stuff that you'll be paying for. But yeah, checking the map. Okay, I think the next one we have is to this body of water up there. So let's just check the journal... And go through all of the Emerald Plateau stuff. I actually think it's that one right there, if I'm not mis- Yeah, it is that one. Okay, so. We do have the vehicle right here, which has saved its position from last time. I think that was one of the changes that they had done to the game was... The vehicles will remain in the positions you kind of log out at. Now, I don't know if I can bring this across this bridge, because I think this is supposed to be a footbridge. Yeah, we're gonna try. Oh yeah, she fits like a glove. Not even a little bang up on the sides either from that. Okay. Now we'll go the rest of the way up, and then it'll be that little water body on our left we should be able to try for the golden trout at. And then I'll just quickly check over to the hook size chart, see what we need for it. And then that will be another fish we'll hopefully be able to have done. I'll just kind of slowly inch our way up this. Truth be told, it might be faster walking, but we'll try and go as far as we can with the vehicle. So I think I can kind of make out the footpath we should be following. Just a little bit further, get that last bit of a climb up there. Yeah, there we go. It's starting to level out, so we should get a little bit more speed in here. And here's the water body we were after. Oh, boy. Yeah, kind of. Ah, bouncing around a little bit there on me. 
Oh, and I see a little thing to report over here. I mean, again, these don't really give you any reward for them besides some minor experience, so it doesn't feel all that big to go for them. But I guess it's something we can try to do. Okay, so for gold rank golden trout, we need to use a hook size of four or three. So, we'll just check the handbook and see what the golden trout prefer to go for. Um, do, 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 where are golden trout? Cutthroat, brook, golden. Spoon, cheese, and marshmallow. Luckily, we do have a spoon that we can use for that. Yeah, there's a hook size of four. And we'll just start off with some easy casts like this. See if we get anything in the first few, and if not, we'll switch out to just try a different lure. But it, they are one of the species that has two uh, hook sizes you can use, either four or three. Not a lot of species do have multiple hook sizes up at gold and diamond ranking. So we'll have to keep that in mind. And if I do switch over to a... Uh, a float fishing hook, I might go up to a hook size of 3 for it. Or, well, I shouldn't say just float fishing. Float or bottom feeding. So I'm just trying to think of where we might have the best luck trying to cast for the golden trout. Because I think they're... I can't remember if it was them or the Orids that are the easily spooked species. Uh, it looks like there's possibly some insect swarms around the other side there. I don't know if that might have all the fish, uh, the attention of the fish over there or what. Uh, I'll try a couple of casts around the edges here and just see if we have anything that'll strike. I think there's anything else. Okay, for a hook size of four, there's actually a fair variety of fish that go for a hook size four golden rank. Um, do, do, do. I should check the map and see if this does list, like, what species we may find in here. But it likely is going to be the case we might not have anything go after our stuff unless it is the golden. Now, let me just check the map. Okay, so... It, so it's kind of weird that this doesn't have a, like, little water body symbol like this does. Unless maybe I haven't, uh, gotten to the right spot to open that up to give us that info. Yeah, there we go. Get that back out. We'll get a long cast all the way out there. And we'll set the drag to 25% and just bring it in slow. Well, not too slow, but... Yeah, so we've got some stuff jumping out there, so there should be fish here. They just might be figuring out where we have to cast to get what we're after. Although I am thinking maybe I want to try the other shore, because when I... I feel like when I've gone for other golden trout, this might be one of those species that likes hiding around rocks and stuff. Because I think for the bronze rank, it took a long time before I finally caught a golden trout. And it was like the first cast once I had done it into like more rocky and sheltered area. So I think I will try going over there just to see if I have any better luck for stuff there. It's like right now casting out into the open water here I don't think is going to do much for us. And you know what, I'll leave the vehicle right here, because truth be told, I don't know if we'll actually be using it further. I know I still have one photo mission to tackle for uh, the Emerald Plateau subregion, but I don't know where at all that is. None of the stuff from the, uh... Oh, is that a... Looks like a little chair and campsite there. Maybe that's what I have to go to in order to, like, uh, get the info for this little spot. Yeah, I'm just going to check that out. It does put us in prime territory all around the rocks and such here where we might have our better chances of getting a golden trout. But I haven't really come across anything like uh, just random lawn chairs set out in a spot. <laughs> I 
So does this have anything tied to it? Um, uh, just a little lemon carving, I think. Oh no, a pika. And that little bit of experience from that actually got us to level 21. Truth be told, I don't know if that's a golden trout or not, but it does seem like I don't want to be too close to the water's edge, because they can get scared by me. But I feel like this is going to be better odds for uh, the golden trout. I should also try to remember... There's a lot of stuff if I go slower and take my time reading through the handbook, I can probably pick up a little bit more cues about where to try... Uh, both where to try fishing for certain species, as well as certain depths and what tactics might work better, too. It's like, for instance, with the golden trout, it could be a case maybe there's something that tells me, like, the biomes that we find them in are more... Uh, deep water things or that. So instead of using the spoon for surface stuff, I might have better luck with trying bottom, uh, bottom feeding or something else. I'll try a couple more casts with this setup, and then we'll change it out to something else that's listed for what the golden trout really like. I mean, I don't actually know if it is truly what they do like, but if they're going to give you, like, the breakdown of only the three suggested lures for skimming in the handbook, I imagine they have to have some better work. Uh, they have some better efficiency than perhaps others that are listed for them. Uh, we'll try way out over that way. And then just one more cast after this to see. And so far, not really getting any interest. So I might want to look at changing it to a hook size of 3, just to see what happens with that. So yeah, we're bringing that in. Nothing even has been, like, showing to try swimming after it. So let me take a look. Okay, golden trout. Spoon cheese marshmallow. The traits are easily spooked, a jumper, and a last stand. So the spooked one makes me think of something else, and it seems... Shallow Pond and Deep Pond. Okay. I'm wanting to see about changing this up to... No, no, I don't want to... I mean, it is a little awkward navigating the menus sometimes. Okay, so we want to go for a hook size of three. And we want to slap on a bit of cheese. And we'll just leave that sit for a bit there. I don't know if we'll have interest there. I can always try tossing out into deeper water to the left or through to the rocks to the right. But we'll see if maybe the hook sizing is what we needed to change up. And we'll let that sit for a minute or two. But as we're getting into... Well, I shouldn't say as we're getting into... We've been in the golds for a while, but it seems like with us going up into the gold or rank missions and such, we're going to see less and less fish activity as we're trying to get the correct uh, hook size to match the species. Because although you can catch golds on, like, say, hook sizes that are smaller than what they're ranked at, you don't get fish, uh, the fish going up as well. You basically have... I'm trying to think of the best way to describe the cutoff. Bigger can go for small hooks, but small can't go for bigger hooks. That's probably the simplest way to put it. 
So at hook size of three, the only other fish I could possibly be catching would be shovelnose sturgeon, o-red trout, cutthroat trout, and walleye at gold ranking. Anything else are diamonds or even bronze and silver ranks. Uh, truth be told, actually, I'm going to... I'm going to switch. Instead of bottom feeding, I'm going to go for a float. That, that. Go for that, that. Right, and that takes me out of the menu. Okay, you know what? Now that. Okay, there. Okay, now I'll switch over to this and get this in order. That is one thing about having only the... I ah, will go for the strongest line. Yeah, hook size three. Go for the cheese. No, well, that's correct. There we go. I'm not sure why that is having such trouble pulling that out. And we'll toss that over there and just see what happens with this being a float setup. And because they have both shallow and deep ponds, I don't think uh, bottom feeding will really be that helpful. So maybe it's just I have to go for a float around some of the rocks and such. But alongside cheese, what else could I try? Marshmallow. Although, truth be told... I'll take a look and see, but I feel like we might actually be too large of hook size for being able to use the marshmallow as bait. Well, yeah, we'll let this sit for a minute or two, see if anything does go for it, then bring it in and try another cast out to another area. Even with having the hook size chart, sometimes it just comes down to trial and error for what baits work. And then... I still don't know how much longer we will have the angler going for alongside Cabela's. Like, Cabela's has been going into a nice spot with it going in through the tundra biome and everything there, but the only thing is... It feels like we're leaving the tundra again because it went from, like, snow glacier area back down to, like, more forested... Uh, I'm trying to think of what would be the best description of it. I don't want to say tundra forest because it's a lot more densely vegetated than I would imagine the tundra to be. It's more like boreal forest, I think, it's kind of changed its uh, geography into. I don't know if it'll switch back to, like, more snow and such later in or what, but... With how it's going, I have no idea how long it's going to be for each of uh, our weekend series. I do know the replacements, I've mentioned them before, so... It's all just about how long it takes for the one series to wrap up, and then the angler, I think we're kind of at a position at any time we can wrap it up. There's not too much that really makes me think of, like, keeping the focus here for it. It's like, I think we've really, aside from getting larger fish size and stronger gear, we've I think caught one of every species now the map has to offer. Or at least Golden Ridge has. Uh, if I do return to the Angler, I can always go to Troll Spore it as... Like, another series to do. But it really feels like... I'm trying to think, because, like, it still feels like the game has this formulaic thing. Because of the cutoff where... Smaller fish don't go for hook sizes too big for them. You can have instances like this, where you know a specific species you're trying for, you can have the right hook size and everything set up, and it's just... You don't have much luck for a while at them. It'd be different if it felt like you were at least catching other fish in pursuit of the one you're after, but... Like how we went after the kokanee earlier this episode. We got the cutthroat first, and then we got the kokanee. Even if I was catching some other species that weren't the one I was after, at least, again, you do feel like you're having fish. There's one strike. Or I shouldn't say strike, but there's some tension. Okay, let's see if this is what we need. I 
can't really tell the species from here. It does look like it's got a... I'm thinking that's a gold... Like, the jumping behavior there makes me heavily lean to that's what we got on the line here. So let's see. Is that the case of what we got? It is a golden gold. Yeah, so we can toss you back in. That's another mission completed. And let me take a look at uh, what we've got in the to do journal. So I think Emerald Plateau is most is almost done. The only thing left is uh, this challenge here, but I have no idea where it is. The only thing I'm thinking, uh, I'm trying to think here. Like there is this little thing here. It's not that. I'm pretty sure it's not that pool there. See, I don't know if I'll get anything like clues to finding it, because it looks like it's on the slope of a mountain with how it's way up there on the right side. So you know what? I think I am going to uh, run around this the lake a little bit further here. I've got the one tree I'll report there. Then I want to go to that water body that I see a little bit more north of us. It feels like it does have, like, the slope that the photo might have with it. And if it's not that, then I'll just have to do a little bit more examining around. But yeah, like, again, we have the big mountaintop here. So we may be lucky with what's ahead. Because nothing is really showing up on UI or such for helping narrow down the photo location. No. Oh. I guess I've already been here to report that. I'm trying to think of when I've been up. I wonder when I've been around this area before then. Unless maybe that's not a tree I have to report. Okay, well, we'll hop into this and then again go for a drive over to where I was. Yeah, no, there's no water bodies over there, so I don't think anything of that would be it. So let's just go for a little bit more of a drive and see. Yeah, this is going to be bumpy ahead because this is supposed to be footpath. And we're going to be looking for a trail that leads off to the right, wherever we land up. Or wherever we... Oh, okay, I see where we... the trail's going off to. I don't even have my foot on the gas, that's just us uh, cruising downhill. Let's see what this brings us to. Well, we're definitely staying in mountain territory, so maybe this is where we have to go looking. Uh, maybe not. I don't see any docks on this. Yeah, if I take a look at the photo location, there's supposed to be two docks on the lake, but I don't know... Yeah, see, they doesn't look like they sh anything like that does show up on the map. Oh, uh, there is this little spot here I could try, too. I'm just going to go for a little bit more of a drive along here. I don't actually know what is considered within the Emerald Plateau's full range. So I'm just going to go for a bit of a drive and see what these other locations might look like. Because it's not a very large water body from the looks of it. Oh, oh, gee. Oh, okay, good. We don't have this uh, lodged and stuck in place. I'm just going to exit to get a quick peek down at this one. Uh, no docks or anything there, so I doubt there's anything to it. I just want to see, does this have like a little water body legend on the map or not because I don't know what distinguishes them yeah see this is distinguished as one of the 26 water bodies out there but when I went to the map this didn't count for one nor did this so I have no idea what 
kind of wonder if that's something where it should have like a little question mark over the uh, the water, just so you know it is something that will give you more details to it. But right, there's a vehicle here. We've got... Yeah, there are... It doesn't look like they're too... F oh, okay, well, we're lodged on top of a rock, so we'll see if I can drive off it. Yeah, we're just going to try to follow this footpath further and see what these other water bodies are like. God, just... I hope you guys don't get motion sick, because it might be a bit rough going for some of these. Okay, here's another one. Yeah, see, like, no credit given for this, so do the water bodies have to be very small to be considered? I'm just going to drive a little bit more. Don't go in the drink. Don't go in the drink. Okay. Come on, come on. Push, push, push. There we go. Yeah, I would kind of think, like, with us being right here, we would have gotten another thing for the map, but this doesn't count. <laughs> I don't understand the logic behind them. Well, let's go a bit further. And see what else we find. Like, here's another little one, but no docks, so this isn't it. Uh, looks like we do have... Yeah, here's one to report. No, actually two. I might as well just for the bit of experience. You're mowing through these bugs like no tomorrow, bug. And... You still got a quarter left. Yeah, see, After not getting any credit no, for this. That's when the real fun begins. So I have no idea what is the criteria for the water bodies are uh, get a thing on the map or not. Uh, let's just report that too. We won't even leave the vehicle for it. And let's head on up here. I think there's only two more still ahead to check. Oh, careful, careful, careful. The road goes to the right, not the left. No, we actually have a cave. Nope. Hang on, I saw something. There we go. Another one of those, and from the map... Okay, we've only got one more to stop by to see. I don't want to quit here just because, knowing our luck, that is the one we need. And if I quit early, that would just kind of be a dumb decision. Although I feel like we might be in a... Okay, yeah, I'll exit, report this, so we know that it's not... Oh. No, didn't want to go into the vehicle, wanted to report this in the water right here. No, nope, and that's done. Set for a little loose drive cookout. Bring yourself some coleslaw or some mac and cheese, because I get peckish when I'm conflagrating. Leave the raisins at home, though, Buck. If it ain't good for no dog, it's no good for me. Yeah, I'm going to try this little water body there. That looks small enough to maybe be uh, what we need for the photo challenge. I kind of wish there was, like, some more specific landmark in it to know. Oh, and I hear something to grab from here. Doubled up letter... Okay. Yeah, pull that, hop in here. And I'll just... We'll stop at this as the last bit for today's episode. And then see where we'll go. I'd like to try to knock out everything from Emerald Plateau all at once if possible. Man, let me just see. Yeah, so it's like the two docks. One of them is like a boat dock, though, so that might actually help me narrow it down further. Really? It's not going to let me report even though I crashed literally into the tree? We've mapped out 
about three quarters of all the blister rust I need from you, Buckaroo. Keep searching and I'll keep preparing. This rotten rust won't know what's coming. Okay, there's uh, this little one right up here to the left. Well, I think it's easy to say it's not... I do see a boat dock up there. Hang on a moment. Let me... Nope. Okay, let me go to that, because again, what we're looking for... I highly doubt that's the location, but I also don't want to discredit it either. So let's just do a quick check and see. Okay, boat dock is right here. Oh yeah, no, this is definitely not the spot for it. Oh, I do hear a uh, figurine or a carving or whatever. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like that's it. So it's a boat dock and then to the right, or well, around the boat dock will be a simple wood dock. Trying to think, I mean, it, it could even be down here, perhaps, and I'm breathing too much into it. But there is, I mean, there's a boat dock, hmm. There's also this little bit right here I didn't check. Yeah, I'm going to end today's episode here, and then I'll check a few of these other areas. With thus being so close to the end of Emerald Plateau for all its missions, I like to tackle that as our first one, and then focus on possibly a whole new area. Well, not new, but go to one of the other areas that we don't have anything done at yet. But thank you all very much for joining me on this episode called Wild the Angler. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure in the comments right down below. Until I see you all next video episode, anglers and survivors, please remember... As always, to take care, stay alive, and happy angling.